What is a good diet for strength development? I've, uh, just to give you some context, I've been eating mostly meat, not for strength, mostly for mental performance. I just enjoy it. Yes, you need to have a base level of protein building blocks for tissue, right? We need to have enough fats to be able to have hormones work and key processes in the body. We need to have, well, you don't need to have from a performance aspect carbohydrates necessarily because the other ones can convert into injury sources. But for a performance athlete, carbohydrates can be very beneficial uh, as well. So, um, so I look at it as you want, you need a base level fats, you need a base level of proteins, and then you adjust the carbohydrate intake based on the needs. I'm not anti-carbohydrate by any means. Um, Cause a lot of people, well, they look at me now when they see like how lean I am and they, they jump to a conclusion. You must be keto, you must be carnivore, you must be whatever. And it's like, so losing and gaining weight is simply eating less or eating more. <laughs> I mean, it, ah. Uh, and it, we yeah. get so complicated. Oh, that my fat, they're like, what's your fasting window? If I'm, if I'm doing fasting, it's just because it works with my, my environment. Sometimes I do it. Sometimes I don't. Mm -hmm. All that does is control how much calories that you take. Big success with keto and carnivore diets. It's hard to eat a lot, uh, and, and put on weight with those, with those diets. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, protein actually has a thermogenic effect. And so you have to have a massive amount of fats if you have a only meat diet because you can literally starve to death. There's a there's a, a show where they put people out in the wilderness and this guy, the one that won one of the ones I looked at, they threw him way like up in the, uh, up past a lot, you know, out the way out there, there was nothing, but he somehow got a caribou and killed it. Mm -hmm. And he still lost a pound a day for 30 days with a caribou mm -hmm. because his fat was stolen by a... Uh, uh, and, and he could eat all the meat he wanted yeah. and they, he almost got pulled because his weight That's loss. Right. Um, but that isn't actually a performance. So those type of keto and carnivore are not performance diets. So they're not going to be as effective at supplying, uh, the energy needs for high capacity training. So don't get me wrong. You can do training, but like you can be a successful, like elite uh, athlete with a, with a vegan diet, but it's not as good easy to do it with other diets. So, and you're missing some base nutrients, so many nutrients in meat. I believe, uh, having greens in your diet is really beneficial. Lots of research, but there's people in the other worlds that argue that you don't need them, but they help clear organs, provide micronutrients, all this sort of stuff. So I eat simply a whole well-rounded diet. And I've gone from, I can go from 285 pounds squatting a ton of weight to eating less and dropping all the way down to, you know, seven, eight percent body fat with veins standing out everywhere without a tissue on me, just with amazing, great tasting food. Mm -hmm. To lose weight or be healthy does not mean that you need to eat flavorless, bland food. Mm -hmm. So that's the main but point I try to portions, get across. It's eat less to lose weight, eat more to gain weight. Yep. Make sure that you've got enough protein. Make sure that you've got your micronutrients covered, which is going to cover by eating real food. Don't go low fat, no fat. If you want a performance, don't go no carb. But if it works, any of those things. So diet approach. When you look at diets, understand that they're how aggressive they are. So like keto can make you lose a lot of weight. Carnivore can make you lose a lot of weight. Um, a lot of that upfront is actually gl dropping glycogen stores. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're actually just reducing water in your muscle and fat tissue. Um, so, which is why it doesn't, isn't as great for a performance diet, but understand that every diet also has a level of discipline and does it fit your lifestyle? Mm -hmm. So I suggest people don't find a diet you need to find a lifestyle because that's what's sustainable. I hate the word diet to begin with. Mm -hmm. What behaviors are sustainable? And then do that. And then over time, the things you'll get to where you need to get. Mm -hmm. Diet itself, just by the name of it, is not sustainable because it, it is a short-term thing to get somewhere. Yeah, I tend to try to measure it because I definitely have a love-hate relationship with food. I tend to look back and say like, by following this particular protocol, lifestyle, whatever, uh, what was the level of happiness? 
Yes. So not like weight loss or weight gain or all those kinds of things. It's the entirety of the picture. Productivity, just feeling good throughout the day. Socially also, like yeah. interacting with people because so much of uh, human connection, like I mentioned before, is over food. And if you're going to limit yourself in that regard, you're, you're limiting a certain fundamental aspect of life. A uh, number of years ago, um, I did uh, like 20 to 22 hour fasts every day. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, this doesn't work. I'm, I can't do business lunches and stuff like that. So when I was in my fasting thing, I went to a 16 so I could have a light lunch mm -hmm. just for the social aspect yeah. of it and perform, able to perform that. That's like, funny. <laughs> um, and then that's, that's why, what, and that's why like the typical bodybuilding, like the eight meal a day diet mm -hmm. um, has never worked for me because I've always been a very bit like trying to fit that between meetings and other stuff. Um, what that diet provides is it just, do you get less bloat and distension of a larger meal? But at the end of the day, you get the same exact results. Pick a lifestyle, live that. You can have really great tasting food. And that to me is the same thing. And, and this is why I'm like really hitting this point because also with the dieting and like the approach like, oh, I'm gonna do this. And people pick these chicken and broccoli recipes. And guess what? You're going to break. If you do not, in, if you do not enjoy it, you will break. Mm -hmm. So- it's, it is a very important point. Well, I also slightly push back or maybe to elaborate, if you don't enjoy moderation, for me particularly, um, I have trouble moderating certain things, most foods, I would say. So my source of happiness comes with foods, even if they're bland, the ones I can enjoy, but enjoy moderation. So there's, I mean, I enjoy every piece of food. So it's like, it's uh, if you can enjoy the the full lifestyle, it's not just the particular experience, but like mm -hmm. the full journey. Yep. Does it fit your lifestyle? Yeah. 